if you could just state your name and the part of the community where you live. My name is David Laser. I'm from Hatcher Pass, the first time I've ever been here. Talk about an optional. When I grew up, streets were made for vehicles, sidewalks were made for people. So how do the people get hit if they're not, if they're on the highways? I listen to the radio a lot. <clears throat> it's like 80% are the natives. I have to call them Indians. My, my children were born here, they're not native. This is not a white black problem, it's an Indian problem. I say send them home to their native village. A native corporation is the problem, not a white pro problem. Why should we be paying for a native problem? Send them home. They would be happy there, and we would be happy. They could drink, smoke, do dope, and whatever they do in the villages in their own, with their own people, and they would be happy. After the native convention next week, let them take their homeless home with them. Anchorage, as it said here, 23,000 natives, but I forgot to add the 300 homeless people. For $500, you could fly 300 people back to their villages. It's only $150,000, <clears> and your problem would be over. Putting them in a hotel, putting them in places, feeding them. Next spring, next summer, you're going to have the same problem. No one talks about eliminating the problem. I say send them home. Send the bill to the Native Corporation. And the other 20% that's here, send them to San Diego where they have other friends. I get tired of seeing the people on the streets begging for money. You know, they have more money than I do. They tell where they go and get in a car. So sorry for some of them. I know some good Natives. I know some good black people. I know some good white people. But we need to eliminate the problem, not just put a band-aid on it and send them to a hotel or send them someplace for the wintertime. That's it. Thank you. Your testimony has been recorded. Mr. Dunbar has a question. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, a comment and a question. I'll say, first of all, I find it deeply ironic to have anyone but an Alaska Native person telling them to go home in Alaska. Um, my, my second thing uh, to say, they are American citizens and Anchorage residents and, and, and members of our community, and we are responsible for taking care of members of our community. Now, my question for you, sir, is um, I have done the point in time count where you go out and you speak with people who are experiencing homelessness. Um, where do you think most of them say they are from or have lived for 20 or 30 years? People in Anchorage. When you go and talk to people experiencing homelessness, where do you think they say that they are from? They have to be from a village. No. There they say native people, there's their villages out there, and that's the natives. I'll tell you, sir, my experience going out and speaking with people is folks say that they are from Anchorage. They have lived here for decades. Some of them were born here. I think we have this, this stereotype that people are just brought in from somewhere else. A lot of the people experiencing homelessness in Anchorage, whether they are Alaska Native or white or any other race, they say that they are from Anchorage. They are members of our community. And um, they don't work, they don't pay taxes, they do nothing. <laughs> well, it looks sure. like a septic tank for them. Oh, okay, I, 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 my oh, question, I have a question I wanted to answer. Mr. Denver, you where need to get you, to the point. Where did you learn all this false nonsense? Madam Chair, point of order, please. Go ahead, Ms. Allard. What rule do you believe has been broken? It's just, it's just not debate. I understand that perspective, so I just hope you can move on and not debate. Thank you, Ms. Allard. Thank you. I have asked Mr. Dunbar to ask his question. I think I did. Where did you learn all this false nonsense? Okay. Point of order. Thank you, Mr. Dunbar. Go ahead, Mr. Bullen. I, I, you know, as painful as that testimony was to listen to, I, I don't think we're supposed to be engaging in the debate now. Just prefer to move on. Thank you, Mr. Bullen. Thank you. I've been there for over 50 years. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are there any other members of the public who wish to speak? 